Good morning, good morning. It's Ona, your energy customer service rep from Chicago, and this is your daily message for Tuesday, June 28th, 2022. We're going to have a new moon tonight about 10 o'clock Central Standard Time. And this new moon is asking me to make sure everybody takes their selenite, gets a little selenite, and keeps it on their person today. If you have some, use it, okay? This chart is for the new moon. Right now, the moon is still in Gemini and will move into Cancer about seven o'clock this morning in the heartland, okay? So we are just getting, starting this Cancer Moon and then it goes new and then we'll have Cancer Moon for the next couple of days, right? So we've got a little time to work on this energy and work with it. So interesting. Check this out, okay? You see over here in the back of her her flowing gown, this Cancer Moon. Neptune is gonna go retrograde today. So it's kind of tugging, pulling on your emotional body a little bit. It just needs like to be retrofit, okay? It's a little long and you just need a little, pull it up and keep moving, okay? just a little retrofitting the emotional body because of this Neptunian energy. And I could smell it. It smells like gasoline. Um, and I hate to say that because I want it to smell like flowers and, you know, trees and stuff, but no, it's got that sort of thing pulling you back. Okay. The degrees that are highlighted here are the sevens, seven uh, the sun, seven the moon. Check out Venus on the other side of the gown here. Sorry about the bouncy, bouncy camera. She is at seven degrees of Gemini, making a sextile to Jupiter, who's at seven degrees of Aries. All right, we've got choices. We've got choices today. We can be divine feminine rising or angry birds or angry birds I've um, I've gone into that angry bird vortex <laughs> and it's pretty intense let's get this new moon to bring out more divine feminine okay than angry bird Let's start to get our plan together. Let's start to nurture Cancer, New Moon, the home, the heart, the family, the relationships, the self-care, all right? You've got your cup of forgiveness there, your cup of love, your cup of whatever offerings, offerings. I'm actually... <laughs> Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm actually making, I'm going to uh, patchwork farms this morning to make an offering. I've got a car full of plants right now and i um, going to visit the chickens. <laughs> Maybe they're angry this morning. I don't know. I'll definitely get some pictures in. But here's where the selenite comes in, in bringing some peace and harmony to your well-being. It is a very high vibrational stone. It doesn't need to be cleansed. It's always going to um, affect your energy around you with this peace and harmony. Please carry some with you if you have some. That is the energy of the new moon, all right? I will do the whole altar thing and set that up um, outside and light the candle later and show you what's going on. In the meantime, breathe in that, that cup of divine energy, okay? And keep moving. 
keep moving forward. This is, this is really cool. Your intentions, super clear, okay? Clear as water. This is what's so funny is that selenite actually dissolves in water, right? And it's a water new moon. So, uh, I don't know. I'm at a loss. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for the comments, for the community, for the donations, for the love. It's just awesome, okay? This is a divine group, isn't it? It really is. Love, love, love. I will see you later. Uh, most likely I'll get at least some pictures at the farm, if not some video my camera's doing that storage his storage issues so uh we'll at least get you uh some pictures of what's of the fun all right love you love you and thank you thank you thank you thank you